so we talked about the supplicant, the authenticator, and the authentication server. But what does this look like in a wireless environment? How does this actually take place? Well, first off, we have our client, which is the what? The supplicant, right? The supplicant attempts to associate or log on to this environment, to the authenticator. The authenticator then does what? The authenticator then passes on this 802.1x, wraps that up in a nice little 802.1x, encapsulates it into that, that frame, and then sends it along to our RADIUS server. Now the RADIUS server gets that access request. So there's an associate, there's a log on with that wireless access point. After that, the authenticator ignores everything else that's going on. It drops all other traffic except that authentication. That authentication for access requests, like I said, wrapped up in that 802.1x is passed along to the radius server. Only communication allowed. Anything else that the supplicant tries to send is dropped from that point. The radius server then authenticates the client, says good, good enough, and then sends an okay and okay to the authenticator. But th this isn't all that happens. The radius server then authenticates to the client. So we have two-way authentication. This makes sure that this is not a rogue device in the network as well. The client ensures that it is connecting to the correct environment. So we have two ways of communication. Once that authentication in both directions is taken place, access success is given, the access success message is given to the authenticator. It says, yes, everything worked out well. Access success, client and AP start using encryption. Whatever encryption is in place, we now begin to use that to pass traffic back and forth. All of our traffic is now encrypted, okay? Very, very interesting process. Again, associate logs onto the authenticator, gives the log on information. 802.1 X frame is then passed to the radius server containing that information. Then the process goes in reverse. The radius server authenticates itself to the client. The client makes sure it is talking to the server it wants to talk to. The success on both sides, radius server passes session key to the authenticator. The session key, that's very important. That session key is then passed to the authenticator to be passed down to our supplicant or our client. Very interesting process. Please know this process if you are moving forward.